So from London, we head to the crypto space. Ladi, um, it was yeah. supposed to be a red weekend. That's why I decided to do red this morning. Yeah, you were right to actually <laughs> uh, do red because it was a red weekend and we're also having a red Monday mm. uh, today, the first trading day of the week. It's uh, Well, the market doesn't close. And we see uh, the fear greed index is even uh, worse than it was uh, last week. It's extreme fear. We're at fear last time, but now it's at 23 points, showing that traders are quite panicking in the market right now. Some like to buy you know, some of that panic, but some actually try to stay out of the market. But looking at the market cap, we see it's uh, $1.79 trillion. It's down about 2.86%. Uh, volume traded this morning morning is up about 35% uh, from sell-offs with Bitcoin and some of the altcoins uh, in the market. Bitcoin dominance sits at 41.31%. And we see a uh, price of Bitcoin has lost that $40,000 mark at $38,900 this morning. It's down 1.95%. Uh, so we, we're seeing uh, that 40K level being flipped into resistance at this point. Volume traded, $27.03 billion. And we see Ethereum also losing the $3,000 mark. It's uh, down to about $2,800, uh, down 3.68%. Volume traded, $17.89 uh, billion from the sellers we see with Ethereum. Uh, top alt by market cap, it's all red on that counter. With BNB there, $391. It's lost the $400 mark, down 3%. And we see XRP, XRP now below the $0.70 cent range. 66 cents down 6.33 percent. All right, we have a uh, Lumide additional uh, there now. Hello, Lumide. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Ladi. Very yeah. red Monday. Very red Monday from a red weekend, and it, it's quite. It's going to be an eventful week. You know, we still have uh, earning results. You know, coming out for global equities markets. How are you seeing uh, all of these impact the crypto market in this week? Yeah, I think uh, the hots are with the bears. If you look at uh, the narrative we just highlighted from price action, uh, Bitcoin is trading at just around the support level of uh, $38,500, suggesting to you that uh, many investors are taking a um, risk of mood. Now, if you look at... Um, but if you look at accumulation, surprisingly, you will see that um, a lot of uh, institutional and old oldies are really uh, keeping their bags um, wide off the exchange. And that seems to be really... Um, um, that, really, that really seems to be what is making um, volatility a bit lower in the crypto market. But exciting news is just like, uh, I think, um, like we already said um, in the previous week, crypto adoption is really um, going up. Uh, we're seeing um, body apes, uh, NFTs, for example, the floor price has really gone off the roof. Uh, I, I, the last time I checked, the minimum floor price was $250,000. That would really buy your property at Lekki, you know. And also, if you look at the token behind it, it's already it's appreciating despite the fact that we are seeing the US dollar at two-year high. But having said that, you know, with any results coming in, about 160 companies in the S&P 500 will be bringing out their data this week. Investors are being very picky. They don't want to be caught on all fast cylinders. And, you know, Russia, Ukraine still remains on the headline. We've seen the Russians being adamant, hitting the Ukraine's ad, especially in eastern, in eastern part of the country. So uh, that's why we are seeing liquidity drying in the crypto market right now, Ladi. Quite interesting. And uh, looking at the uh, Nasdaq, we know there's a correlation between, you know, Bitcoin and the uh, Nasdaq index. But how are you seeing the Nasdaq playing out this week? Yeah, positivity. You know, uh, Google shares um, any results. Google, uh, Microsoft. These are big and trillion dollar market value companies. So investors possibly will be trying to look at indicators if the Russian invasion, if the strong dollars affect the earnings. Any any disappointing earnings might really weigh on the crypto market. Just like rightly said, the correlation between the um, Bitcoin and tech stocks is kind of very positive. But having said right. that, we see Bitcoin trying to decouple, you know, adoption. Uh, recently, uh, the Central African Republic uh, really uh, announced uh, that they um, accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. Though yeah. that sounds like more symbolic we are seeing adoption rising. So while oh, we are seeing a decoupling effect in the nearest future, uh, right now, I think it's fair to say that uh, what happens in the tech stocks really have a strong impact in the crypto market, Ladi. Right, Olumide, always great to talk to you. Thank you so much, Olumide. Thank you, Ladi. All right, so, uh, Eni, there you have it. It's uh, very lean gainers counter this morning, just 2.71% gain uh, from uh, that move to earn uh, token. That's a step in, uh, that's $3.29. We see the ape coin there. Uh, that one's still 
trying to rise at this point up 2.33 percent, even though it's a full red market. And yeah, any Central Africa Republic, uh, first in Africa to it. adopt Bitcoin. I wonder how it's gone for uh, El Salvador. El Salvador, I think they should the look line. that way first and get some glean some lessons from there before exactly. they uh, not to, I mean well, quite interesting times like yeah. I never thought I'll see a time where countries are actually adopting Bitcoin as legal tender quite interesting yeah very interesting time thank you so much laddie